الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد امام النووي mentioned in Riyadh Saleh he said bab fadl qiyam al-layl qiyam al-layl qiyam laylat al-qadr wa bayan arja layaliha layaliha so imam al-nawawi said uh, he entitled a chapter in Riyadh Saleh it's called the chapter of the benefit of standing in the night prayer qiyam al-layl and he said qiyam qiyam laylat al-qadr so standing, these hadith have to do with Laylat al-Qadr, the night of power. And he said, and this, and clarifying the most correct or sound nights that are that Laylat al-Qadr probably happened, or Laylat al-Qadr will, will happen. Okay, and then he mentions uh, the ayah of Allah Taala in the Nzal Nahu fi Laylat al-Qadr ila akhir surah wa qala Allah Taala. إن نزلناه في ليلة القدر مباركة إن كنا مندرين. so he mentioned two surahs Imam Nawawi, ليلة سورة القدر where Allah سبحانه وتعالى said verily we have set down the night of power or decreed the night of power to the rest of the surah and then another surah Allah سبحانه وتعالى also mentions that it is a Laylatun Mubaraka. That it's a blessed night. So if we can get and pray during that Laylatul Qadr and make dua during that night, if the ibadah, the reward of that ibadah, khairan min alfisha, min alfisha, it is better than a thousand months. So it's an incredible reward, uh, a great reward, and it is not befitting for a believer to miss this time. So we should strive, even if you just go to the masjid for, for us men, for winter. You know, if you can only catch some of it, because some of us have to work, some of us have school, some of us has this, and this where it's very difficult. You know, depending on your job, depending on your, your lifestyle, what have you. Imam Anoe mentioned, or a benefit of this, this chapter, is it is shown, it is called the Layla Taqadr, because it's a the night when the decree of Allah is uh, manifested or or decreed for the whole year. The things that will happen during the year, during the Laylatul Qadr. This is what we know from a Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the, the the part of the Qadr is decreed. Where the qadr is decreed for the follow for the next year. Okay. عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من قام ليلة القدر إيمانا واحتسابا كفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه وتفقنا عليه. This is a hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. A hadith of Abu Huraira, very similar to the other hadith when we mentioned just about Qiyam of Ramadan. In this hadith, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, whoever stands in the night of power. So he mentions specifically the night of power. So all of Ramadan is full of ajr, but especially the night of power. From this hadith, it shows us the encouragement to pray the night of power, to make sure you're praying on, on those nights. Uh, iman, Iman and Billah, you know, believing in Allah, with the and the ajr and seeking and expecting his reward. So that's two conditions. That you believe in Allah, so if a disbeliever prays that Laylatul Qadr, he's not going to get the ajr. not going to get any ajr. So that means you have to believe in Allah. And secondly, you have to expect his reward, that he's going to give you ajr. Uh, then Allah will forgive you of the sins that you did over the past year. The minor sins, again, you mentioned the minor sins. This hadith also, uh, it shows us that the importance of having sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also that having ikhlas lillah in all of your worship, all of your ibadah, uh, and this will give the 
servant, maximum reward is by having a class, sincerity to Allah. And the two conditions for having your deeds accepted are ikhlas lillah, sincerity to Allah. And the second one is following what? The sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. Those are the two conditions for having your deeds accepted. So Layla to Qadr is a part of that, a part of that, that you have to ikhlas lillah, when you're worshiping Allah, you're praying to Allah, can only be to Allah, no shirk. And that, of course, you're doing this, you're following the sunnah of the Prophet Because the Prophet did it and encouraged us to do it. So you're, you're following that. وَعَنِ إِبْنِ عُمَرَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَنَا عَنْهُمَا أَنَا رَجْلٍ مِنْ أَسْحَابَ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمْ أَرُوا لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ فِي الْمُنَامِ فِي سَبْعِ الْأَوَاخِرِ فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أرى رؤياكم قد توتأت في سبع الأواخر فمن كان متحريها فليتحرها في سبع في سبع الأواخر متفقون عليه This hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the hadith of Ibn Umar رضي الله تعالى عنهما that a man from the companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم رضي الله تعالى عنهما he saw in a dream, uh, in his dream, he saw that the night of power was in the 27th, uh, or the, the last seven nights of Ramadan. And he said, so the Prophet said, did one of you see, uh, you know, dream, that the during the seven last seven nights that it will be Layla to Qadr. So whoever strives to pray it to find that night in the last seven nights, uh, you know, will find it. And this is in Bukhari Muslim. And then there's a hadith in Aisha uh, on, from Aisha on Aisha that Radiya Allah Taala Anha. Qalat kana Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. يُجَاوِرُ فِي عَشْرِ الْأَوَاخِرِ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ وَيُقُولُ تَهَرُّ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ فِي عَشْرِ الْأَوَاخِرِ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ مُتَفْقِرَ عَلَيْهِ So in the hadith of Aisha رضي الله تعالى uh, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to strive in the last ten nights of Ramadan to catch the late, uh, the night of power and he said Strive in the last ten nights of Ramadan uh, to catch the Laylatul Qadr and then another narration uh, on Aisha, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Strive to catch the night of power uh, during winter in the last ten nights of Ramadan." Uh, this is a Bukhari, so it shows us the importance of uh, and the, the ulama they mention the word yujawr. It means yaktakif, uh, yaktakif, meaning to make it to kaf, to sit in the masjid. So meaning to encourage to pray in the masjid. So that's the deal right there, evidence to show that this should be done in the masjid. We should strive to do it in the masjid, as men especially. We should strive to catch the night of power in the masjid. Uh, and this also from this hadith, it shows us that the last 10 nights, and especially the last uh, seven, and that it is winter, one of the winter nights, uh, you meaning, uh, you know, could have been the 21st, the one of the odd nights, uh, is the uh, most correct statement that uh, it could be. So it could be on the 21st, uh, could be on the, the 23rd, uh, the 25th, or the 27th or 29th, if it's 29 days. <clears throat> and this also shows us uh, the hikmah of the of not, this hadith, also what we learned from this, is there's wisdom in not specifying that the Prophet didn't tell us the exact night, you know, of the Laylatul Qadr, 
Because if he would have, then the people would be lazy, generally in their Ibadah, more than likely they would get the habit, and then they might miss that night. Because or, or they would just pray for that night. But instead, this encourages you to get the reward in general, striving to get that night by praying all those nights. Pray all those nights, Layla Tukada. Those are some of the most in there's another hadith which is important. We'll mention it really quickly. Uh, this is also a hadith of Aisha The Prophet if it came to the last ten nights of Ramadan, he would be awake pretty much all the night, you know, be vibrant, you know, active. He would wake his family up uh, and he would strive. And he would, you know, just strive in general during those last 10 days. He would be more vigilant because what we see is people generally get very lazy. As the first week, as we saw in the masjid, people were coming. Within a week, people were already dropping off. In our masjid, maybe one row one and a half row, especially, this is a regular salat, and then even when it come to the night prayer, it was just getting very, almost, you know, one row, one and a half rows. So, you see the people, they get lazy easily, and they get in the habit, and want to go back to their houses and whatever, but the Prophet ﷺ would, especially in the last 10, would, as he said, pull up his izar, or tighten his, his waist garment, meaning that he would get serious and really increases the ibadah, increases sadaqah, increases his uh, striving to get ajr by increasing his prayer and qiyam al layl and all the other righteous deeds. So this hadith shows us that it's important to strive in your worship during the last 10 uh, days of Ramadan. So that means days and night. And also to encourage your family. Uh, and this encourages the Ummah to be striving and vigilant in their Ibadah. Uh, it also shows us that those last 10 nights it's permissible to stay up striving in your Ibadah uh, and make it a sacrifice even if you're going to be tired in your day the, the, that last, uh, you know, to catch Layla Tukadr those last 10 days. And those are just some of the benefits of this hadith, and we ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon the Muslims who, everywhere who have died, and especially our brothers and sisters who died in uh, London in the fire, and may Allah have mercy and bless their families and replace their families uh, with better from what they, from their losses, and help their hearts, and comfort their hearts, and bless them to accept the Qadr, and bless them with uh, great ajr and increase their risk and increase their patience. And may Allah help us everywhere and increase us in patience everywhere and reward us and increase our risk and bless us with Adam and Nafi and Muslim Taibu Amal Mutakabinin.